Welcome back. Thanks for joining your virtual drinking buddy. So tonight I am cracking open one that I got through a beer trade with Brian the Beer Snob. Brian, thanks for sending me this. This, excuse me, I do apologize. This is like my fifth video of the night, so got the bubbles before I even crack this one open. Um, this is ATL Easy Ale. This is made by Wild Heaven Beer. They're out of Atlanta, Georgia. Looks like it weighs in at 5.5% ABV. And, uh, well, actually, um, they have it listed as Avondale. Avondale. I'm not really sure how they pronounce it locally. It's Avon and Dale mashed together into a word. So, Avondale Estates, Georgia. And yeah, it's looks like it's a pale ale. The ATL cruising the ATL. Little outcast for you. I'm sure I murdered that terribly. The the funny thing is, I'm not even really buzzed, and I'm making an ass of myself like that. So yeah. Well, let's pour this out. Let's pour on like a... Like a nice, solid golden color. Let's get it closer to the monitor. Let's see what the monitor says. Looks like a... I don't know. The monitor looks kind of hazy. Nice, nice bright gold. With being on the other side of light from it, it's just... It's very light gold color. A uh, white soapy head. Oh yeah, he was able to get the whole can in there. Mm. You can definitely pick up a little bit of pininess right away. <clears throat> That's all I'm really picking up though. It's just, and it's not overwhelming, just a little bit. It smells pretty good. There's only one thing left to do. Cheers. Oh, that's good. I love pale ales. I don't drink enough of them. Um, yeah, I mean, it's... Hops is the star of the show, but it's it's not overwhelming. It's not in your face. Um, pretty mild as far as bitterness goes. Better have another drink. really good um yeah i mean it's excuse me nice mild bitterness and it's the start of the show maybe a little bit of a biscuity malt to support that maybe more of a cracker malt god i'm having a hard time distinguishing between the two it's got a little bit of a malt in the background um but yeah this is really good. Not overwhelming with the hops, but if you're an IPA person, probably hoppy enough to do the trick. Okay. Um, but if, if, you, if you're not really into hoppy bitterness, you could still drink it. For me, it's perfect. I, I, I like just a little bit of bitter, and I could crush a, quite a few of these, I think, what they say. Uh, 5.5%. So, yeah, I could definitely do several of those. Be happy to do it. So, uh, Wild Heaven. If you're looking for somebody to just drink your beer, I'm your guy. Um, but yeah, uh, well done beer. Um, I think a solid example of what a pale ale should be. Shouldn't be too hoppy. Um, like a medium to medium light body. Little bit of malt comes through. Overall, a really good beer. Brian, again, thank you for sending this to me. Really appreciate it. 
And that's really all I got for this video. So if you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button below. And don't forget to tell your friends. And this is the multi-gentleman reminding you, you only have one liver. So use it wisely.